geometry nodes is one wild system in Blender. Powerful, flexible, and honestly, a little insane when you start to understand what it can really do. So in today's video, let's demystify this beast by looking at some of the craziest ways artists are using it. In Blender 5.0, we're also seeing bits of geometry nodes bleeding into the shader editor. Things like the repeat zone are now available, which means you can create ridiculously complex materials like this frozen ice shader with parallax depth. It looks unreal, but the setup is actually clean once you see it broken down. CMZW has a great tutorial if you want to dive in, and this demo is by Spee Cooler. It perfectly sums up what GeoNodes really is. You build everything through a node interface, and the spreadsheet is the raw data underneath. You can even flip the whole idea and literally render animations inside the spreadsheet using geometry nodes. I swear some of these demos motivate me, and others just make me sit there like, bro, how is this even possible? And if you're wondering what geometry nodes can really do for you, you kind of have to think bigger. A perfect example is Mirza Beg, a Unity game dev who uses geometry nodes to build insane visual effects that he then brings into Unity with a bit of custom scripting. It's a totally different way to use Blender and shows how far geo nodes can go outside the usual pipeline. Another mind-blowing trick, Gaussian splats. I'm still shocked they haven't taken over everything. They're fast, lightweight, and in some situations more realistic than camera footage because you can move freely inside the scene. Most software doesn't support them by default, but in Blender? Cartesian Caramel showed that with just a few nodes, you can render them with no problem. And look, I know you already know Geometry Nodes is powerful. I just needed an excuse to show you what happens when someone who really knows the system goes crazy with it. Making cables hang is easy. Making them hang correctly without intersections is a whole different level. Another wild thing, merging objects without booleans. I've used a lot of 3D apps, and none of them have a native feature that lets you smoothly blend two objects without booleans or plugins. Blender doesn't either, but Spagit Monot made an add-on that handles this using geometry nodes for most of the work. The result looks like a native feature. Blender can't do everything, so sometimes you have to bring in data from other programs. I do this a lot with Houdini, but importing attributes can make files huge or straight up crash Blender. The cool part is that geometry nodes can just recreate those attributes inside Blender. Mietinen shows this perfectly by rebuilding color advection to swirl coffee and milk together without importing heavy data. And of course, geo nodes can straight up replace the particle system. It's 10x more powerful and way more customizable. Kuldeep showed this with a particle effect driven by curl forces, something you could never achieve with the default particle system. Finally, GeoNodes can fake effects that would normally require expensive simulations. Faustkeen's made a creamy, fluid-like effect that, without GeoNodes, would require either a full fluid sim or dynamic paint. Fluid sim would be messy and slow, and dynamic paint only gives you a mask. With geometry nodes, you get full control, thickness, and performance, all without touching the simulation tools. If all of this has you feeling inspired to learn geometry nodes, I've got you. Check out my Geometry Nodes course. It'll walk you through the basics step-by-step step so you can start creating the kinds of effects you saw here today. It's the perfect way to get comfortable with the system and start building your own wild setups.